Well, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are watching around Australia tonight on Aurora TV, or maybe somewhere from Broome to Byron Bay, from Cairns to Carnarvon, or right here on the beautiful Gold Coast, it is main event time. Let's bring on the boom! Ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of championship boxing for the WBO Africa heavyweight title. In the red corner, please welcome Patrick Eniana. in the blue corner. Please welcome Dempsey McKean. out of our red corner. He weighed in at 97.9 kilos and stands six foot two inches tall. His professional record, 11 fights, 10 victories, six by way of knockout. Born in Nigeria, but now calling Australia home, he trains at the Agogi Boxing Gym in Western Australia. Please welcome to the ring, Patrick Primetime Eniana. Fighting out of our blue corner. He weighed in at 113.7 kilos. Standing at six foot six inches, his professional record unbeaten. 15 fights, 15 wins, nine by way of knockout. Training under Steve NG and Warren Coots, he fights out of the Matrix Boxing Gym, the Tower of Terror, Pepsi McKean. So here we go, James, the fight of the night. It is the main event of the night. It is Dempsey McKean versus Patrick Iannina. This is going to be an interesting bout. It's for the WBO Africa heavyweight title. So plenty on the line for both fighters here. Atmosphere is absolutely electric. You can hear that from the introductions. Both boys are ready to go. The big boys here. Dempsey McKean towers over his opponent, but look, he does that over most fighters he fights. He is. He's six foot six. His opponent's six foot two, so not a short man, but he's just been dwarfed by the big Dempsey McKean. He's a, he's a, he's a big boy with some massive punching power as well, uh, especially since joining the Matrix Boxing Gym. has been really improved. He's actually on a six-fight KO streak as it stands right now, uh, Dempsey McKean. So since being with the Matrix Boxing Club, so definitely improved his punching power. We'll see if it comes into effect here tonight again. And like all good heavyweights, he's got that one-punch knockout power, which we've seen in numerous highlight reels. Yeah, he definitely does. But his opponent, he's, uh, he's, this is his third fight for 2019, so quite active himself. So he's here to fight. He did have a big layoff from boxing between 2016 to 2018, but once again, been very active in 2019 with his third fight here tonight. He's Nigerian born. However, he does reside out of Western Australia now, so he calls Australia home like our other opponent here in Dempsey McKean. So the Classic South pour up against the Orthodox. So um, a cautious first round starting off from both men. Yeah, obviously for Patrick, he needs a circle to his left, which is away from the power hand of Dempsey McKean. For all those people watching at home. 
You don't want to be circling to the right, which it will, because that will lead straight into the power hand of Denton McKean, which is his big left hand. So he's doing a good job here as, as it stands. He's circling to his left, keeping out of harm's way. So nothing of any significance landed from either fighter as they've both been pouring out that jab or sticking out the jab to uh, as a range finder. Dempsey McKean still uh, is uh, trying to get the opportunity to get that uh, that big left hand home early in the fight. I think it's worth mentioning also, James, that uh, this whole week uh, Dempsey's been struck with illness, so he's he's. Uh, He's, he's, it's a big feat, him just being here tonight. So hats off goes to him. He's been uh, he's been struck with the flu, and he's uh, been bedridden for most of this week. So to, for him to be in here and 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 obviously put it on the display like he has been in this opening round, that's that's massive credit to him and and a massive credit to obviously his hometown fans for him being here as well. Yes, absolutely. So uh, round one here into uh, the, the second half of this opening round. Big thanks to our major sponsors here, Ultra Tune, and also to uh, Toy Box. Presenting our main event here, Night of Terror, with the Tower of Terror. Main feature on this card, Dempsey McKean and Patrick Anina fighting for the WBO Africa title. That's the end of the first. And that southpaw stance as well. It's still one of those things, isn't it, that still not a lot of people are overly keen to mix with the southpaws. Now Patrick is uh, he's, he's got 10 wins on his record, but six of them have been by knockout. So he's got a high percentage knockout uh, record. So he needs to be wary of that Dempsey McKean, even though he does have a 60% record himself. Um, but he, he, he's like I said, he's coming to this bout a little bit under the weather, not 100% definitely. So he's just got to be wary of that. Inevitably, it's uh, it's. The big boys have said heavyweight, every punch can change fights, particularly with heavyweights, when you've got guys here that got such power, and, and these are two guys that have proven in their career so far that they do have that, that knockout power. And we'll see which one can land those telling blows here tonight and, and take home that uh, all-important belt, which is a, a huge step forward for, the, for both men in their career. Still the feeling out process here for Dempsey McKean. Just happy to stick out his jab, but here he comes with a flurry of punches, as I say. That. He's remained very relaxed, hasn't he, Patrick? And you know, in, in all of that that's, uh, that's been coming at him, he's, uh, he's uh, maintained his, his position. He hasn't been uh, phased at this stage by anything that's come back at him yet. Nice and composed, nice and relaxed. Well, he's been boxing professionally since 2014, even though he did have that layoff, so... He's, uh, he's been in there enough to be able to know his way around the ring, that's for sure. I was about to say, he's still yet to throw that right hand with any intent, but just as I was at the words about to come out of my mouth, he uh, delivered the right straight down the pipe. This is good from Dempsey McKean, just popping that jab, keeping him at bay. He knows he holds all the advantages because he is that taller fighter, as you can clearly see. And there is that left hand to follow. That's the one that he's looking for. Yeah, when he's got his back, his opponent's back to the ropes, that's when he can unleash the power. Once again, a massive thank you to our major sponsors here tonight. Sean from Ultra Tune, Jimmy from Toy Box, Steel Ryan from the Rhino Range by Thor Building, and also Ron Wanless. Thank you so much, mate, from Action Metal Recycles. Your contribution to the sport is not unnoticed. Right, step back, step back, step back. As we see. The end of round number two, Patrick Adina's corner. Uh, very effusive in their praise of his work there towards the back end of the round. They like what they see. Event of the evening here with thanks to Ace Boxing Promotions. You can see creeping with his front forward that ever so slightly Dempsey McKean starting to break down that distance of his opponent. You can see he's going to start to let off 
his big left hand very soon. You can see he's doing a very good job, tapping away with the gloves, creeping up with his front foot, get it, just to get in range, and then pop. He'll, he'll, he'll throw it very soon. You can see he's coming. Just using that jab there as that range finder. Plenty of respect shown by both boys. They're not just absolutely coming in willy-nilly. They're showing respect to their opponents, which they should be. Both, like I said, high KO percentages. Good to see heavyweight boxers with skill as well. Absolutely. And that's <laughs> something that Dempsey McKean has, has a lot of, doesn't he? He's got that fast hands. Ooh, Ooh that one caught the attention of Patrick and Nina. Tell you what, if his glove wasn't there that sort of rode half the shot, he'd be on the canvas. That was a big shot from Dempsey McKean as he pours the pressure Work back on. Work out of it, hands free. Work out of it, boys. And he's another one, isn't he? He's the total yeah, package. Yeah. Dempsey McKean, he's got wonderful footwork right, for a big step man step as back, well. Back, he's able to, uh, oh. to dictate the tempo of fights as well with his range. So he's, uh, he's another who has a, uh, the full package when it comes to uh, to a successful career in the in the sport and it's, it's been very successful him thus far but he's uh, just about to try and climb the, uh, the the highest part of the mountain for the next phase of his career and coincidentally trained by Stephen ng again from the matrix <laughs> boxing club so he's doing a great job there very very strong team here and wonderful support here at southport as well for these fighters Debs mccann looks to cap off what's been a pretty good night for the matrix boxing team just biding his time here Dempsey not rushing in with anything making sure there's an opening before he throws his punches which is probably a good thing moving forward work out of it got to work to the body here when he's in close I'd like to see him just bend his knees a little bit even though he is a taller fighter you can still get down to the level and leverage off those shots especially you can't get that full leverage without that bent knee without those bent knees so he's got to still get down there and just drive up with his uh with his whole body Ooh. as patrick catches him with his own good shot Ooh, oh, some good action here to close out the round. Wow, well, we, that was a couple of really big shots there from Patrick that just missed the mark, and lucky so for Dempsey. We're starting to get warm here in our main. Patrick and Nina and Dempsey McKean. Let's have a look at some of the action here on replay. Shout out to the crew doing a wonderful job bringing you all the pitches as well. Some of that action there towards the back end of the round. Another round in the books and another round starting now. Dempsey McKean starting strong once again with that jab. But you can see Aninha, he's starting to get more active with his shots yeah, as well. Definitely, both boys have definitely uh, turned the screws and looking to step it up a notch. You've got wider eyes now, Aninha. Patrick, that is, and uh, he's, uh, you can see he's ready to get into this fight and very quickly. Right, step back, step back. Now hold Dempsey, his arms go. Work out of it. Work out of it. Right! Right, step back. Box. In the action centering right on top of that ultra tune sign. Hold him there, his arms go. Good, great feet. For a big fella, Dempsey McKean. I, I, I back, saw Anina trying to creep in there and try and come in on angles, but he just glided out of the way, did Dempsey McKean. Just perfectly poised. 
for that attack. Good evasion there once again from Dempsey McKean. I would have liked to see him come back with his own shot there. He had his uh, opponent open there for a little stage there. Break, step back, step back, let him up, step back. Keep it clean, boys, box. Once again, both boys showing the ultimate respect to their opponents, not rushing in with any shots, making sure there's def a definite opening before they choose to throw them. As they thump right. away at the, the bodies there in the clinch. Watch the back of the head as well. Box. Going to balk, trying to get something out of Patrick. And Inya is Dempsey McKean trying to balk him, trying to commit to a punch so he can counter off it, but he's not having any part of it, Patrick and Inya. Is it a case at the moment both of them are sort of looking to try something similar in terms of that counter? You can see Patrick and Inya, his uh, eyes focused firmly on Dempsey McKean, which I didn't expect, of course, but he's, uh, it's almost like he's waiting, willing, and looking for that counter himself. Yeah, I think you're 100% right. They're both coming with a similar game plan as such, but... Um, Dempsey's just winning it because he's got those longer straight punches that's snapping the head back. That jab is perfect once again for tonight, and uh, that's probably paying dividends for him. The jab's been a really good punch for him so far in this fight. He's been out of control, distance control, range, get himself that opportunity to try and let go of, uh, of, the, of that big straight left or that left hand that we've seen him lay out a number of opponents in his career to date. Thanks to our major sponsors here, as we mentioned, you see them there doing center ring to Ultra Tune and to uh, Toy Box. Thank you for supporting our big night of fights here. Brought to you by none other than Ace Boxing and Promotions. And Ultra Tune and Toy Box, major sponsors of this big card here. Night of Terror, headlined by the Tower of Terror himself, Dempsey McKean. Another round in the bag is Dempsey McKean once again trying to start fast. He's trying to, you can see he's trying to edge his way into this fight and trying to create an impact here at the early stages. But Anina just somehow claws his way back into the contest every at the end of every round. And in this case, happy to hold, happy to clinch. Waiting for our referee Paul Tapley to uh, call, split them apart. Yep. Beautiful jab. Yeah, that's definitely the winner tonight so far for Dempsey McKean. Now for Dempsey, he needs to be at two ranges. I think he always has to be at long range off the end of his jab or close range. He doesn't want to be at that mid range where, where Patrick can cause an upset potentially by, you know, looping over that big right hand that we've seen he has and catching him because you're only one punch away from disaster, as you know, especially in the heavyweights, James. And for Patrick and Nina, is, is that basically what you, what you think he needs to do? He's just try, he wants to get him in that in-between zone. Yes. Which is easier said than done because uh, he's doing a great job of keeping out that jab. Like I said, that is the punch of the round so far. He's keeping him at bay with that jab. But sometimes, especially as the round goes on, fatigue starts to play a part and you start getting a little bit lazy and all of a sudden, Patrick's in the fight. As Dempsey looks to land that uh, right, big left hand. So again, we, we still haven't seen what you'd call a definitive, very clean punch landed yet. That might change here momentarily as Dempsey McKean charges forward. Right. Good back. moments Step there back. from Dempsey McKean. Two and three punch combinations, three or four times. Not wasting right. any opportunity there, Dempsey, as the clinching, he's just pounding away at the body. Good move from him. 
Patrick and Ana firing at the chest the there right of uh, Dempsey right. McKay. Dempsey, right. the, the, the bigger of the, the two back. men, able to walk him down. Patrick doing a good job of holding there and close. <laughs> He's happy to be in the clinch. Here, yeah, referee Paul Tapley coming to have to punch out. That's the end of that round once again. But he's just doing enough to edge out the fight and keep his perfect record, hopefully. He's doing a good job at the moment, controlling uh, the tempo with that long jab. It's been the, the scoring punch so far, uh, but still, you, you just get the, the sense that uh, Big Left's going to get through here at some stage, and that yep. could really change this fight dramatically. That was a good there. He bumped him off, hit him with a good body shot. That was a good move there from Dempsey McKean as he drops him with a body shot, I think. Massive body shot. That really buckled Anina. He's grabbing the back of his head here, but I'm almost certain it was a body shot he got hit with. Dempsey McKean comes in. Two and three punches. That's enough. Good night, Irene. Dempsey McKean moves to 16 and 0 with 10 knockouts now. Finishes the job there. An incredible performance given what we've known. He's not 100%. He is under the weather, but still put on a performance for his hometown crowd. Big thanks to Ultra Tune. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight gets stopped at a time of 59 seconds into round number six. The winner by TKO and the new WBO Africa heavyweight champion, the Tower of Terror, Dempsey McKee. As we see there, Dempsey McKean being crowned the winner. And that wraps up the fights here. That's seven fights down now for tonight. And the night of terror comes to an end. On behalf of Ace Boxing Promotions, James O'Shea and myself, Nathan DiCarlo, would like to thank you for joining in. And we'll see you next time at the fights. Don't forget, we're heading back to the toy box for the after party, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dave Bell of the Fight MC. You've just seen Dempsey McKean take the WBA, WBO Africa heavyweight title. We saw the, uh, the Flamingo, Jacob MG, retain his IBF international lightweight title. A fantastic night of fights here tonight, thanks to no excuses and Aces Boxing Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, Wherever you are, we hope you've had a fantastic night. And until we see you next time, keep your hands up. Good night.